So let's talk about why this cordless DeWalt vacuum is such an impactful tool to have, at least for our operations. So I have used several vacuums over the last five, six years, right? I've had the Metro Vac and Blow, the newer model Festool, Festool CT Midi 1, I think that's what it's called. We have the very popular rigid vacuum that I think most detailers have or you've at least seen at like Home Depot or something. And that's in the, for, the, for the van. We also have a bigger rigid vacuum I think it costs like 140 here at the shop. So I've used several vacuums, right? Not that that really matters. I'm just giving you a gist of my vacuum history. So the biggest problem that, not the biggest problem, but the problem that we're solving is that look, on interior cleanings, we're gonna make mistakes, right? We're gonna overlook an area, right? So not, not it doesn't happen too often, but it is freak or common, I should say, to where we miss a little area that needs to be vacuumed up, whether that's like a compartment, whether that's a small section of the carpeting, somewhere on the, on the, on the floor mats, maybe a wind, a, a gust of wind came through and it brought in some debris inside the interior, some pet hair that, that kind of fell through once we were back, whatever the case may be, there's an area that needs to be vacuumed. So let's say that we're completely done with the vehicle, right? We've, with the interior cleaning, right? We've, we've already extracted the seats, we're, we're packed up, we're ready to go, and we're doing the last little inspection, we're taking photos, right? And then we spot this little area, oh, we need to vacuum that one little section, right? And by little section, I mean like a little section. So once we have the van packed up, everything ready to go, what we have to do is we, and remember, we have everything on a reel. So it's like, it's, it's minimal work for us. But even then, and this, you know, contextually looking at it, is we turn on the generator, turn on the vacuum, get the hose, pull it out the reel, get to the, to the spot with the vacuum, you know, do like one or two passes, and then reel the, the hose back in, turn off the vacuum, turn off the generator. So for us, it's not that big of a deal because we have everything on, on reels and you know, we have a generator and such. But when you're looking at it in the context of like, hey, we're done with the vehicle, we all just missed this one little section, so let's go through that whole process to vacuum up that one section. Instead now, we don't pull out the big old vacuum and do that, we just grab this little uh, uh, vacu vacuum uh, right here, we turn on the button and we just vacuum it up. So is this, I, do you need this if you're just getting started? Absolutely not. Is this gonna make or break your, 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 your operations or your details or, or slow you down? That, no, not at all. But at this point, because we have customers and we do so many cars and at this point it just makes our life easier, is to carry this inside of our van. So we're gonna have one for the shop and we're gonna have one for the van. Now, with this one, I only bought the unit in itself. I didn't buy any additional batteries because we have four extra DeWalt batteries, and we have four, we have, yeah, we have four drills, which means we have two, four, yeah, we have eight batteries, plus six additional upgraded uh, 20V, five amp, or whatever it's called, batteries. So we have plenty of batteries in stock to lend one off to here. So I didn't purchase any extra batteries because I already had, already had batteries with me. So with this one, we're not gonna use it often, right? So I'm not gonna use the upgraded battery on this one. We're gonna stick with this like small little whatever this one is because we're not gonna use it often. We're, we're really not gonna use it often, but it, it, it adds a lot of versatility to our operations. Meaning if we have a customer that's coming to our shop, right? And it's just gonna be like, you know, hey, can you, 
I don't know, extract the back row. I don't know, something weird. I'm just making something up. To extract the back row. Instead of getting the vacuum and taking it all the way over there, or whatever the case may be, we could just take this little thing. We're still gonna do the same process, like use a drill to, to, to uh, loosen up the debris, and then we'll just use this to vacuum it up. It makes life much easier to go cordless. Again, this isn't gonna be a primary driver of a vacuum. That's not gonna be it. We're not gonna use this when there's a lot of pet hair and debris and dirt and rocks and gravel and like, we're not gonna use this for that. So the suction on it, it's not strong. It's not gonna pick up whatever, like very little small particles all across the fire. Like, no, like you'll still need to go through the thorough agitation and vacuuming. This is just for those small, small little jobs or the very like singular instances where like it's a one specific thing that you needed to do and this can handle it. So as far as the review, look, like, look, the, the hose is not gonna be extended that long, right? So you can hold it in your hand while you're working on whatever vehicle. On this one, the one that I purchased, and I got it off of Amazon, again, it'll, link, it'll be linked down below. Um, you either have this one, which I recommend you use it with this, make sure it's flat on the surface. It, this is a lot better at vacuuming than just using this, but you either have this attachment right here, or you can use it just like this for, I guess, more specific vacuuming, but I prefer to use it like this because I feel like it gets better suction when it's fully flat on the surface versus just using this, you know, for like carpeting and floor mats and such. If you're using it like on a center console, yeah, you'd want to stick it in, you'd want to stick it right in and vacuum it that way. Other than that, it's very lightweight. Uh, I think this was 180, I don't know, just check them below. I'm always wrong with pricing. So. Other than that, this is it. We're not gonna do anything extra. We're not gonna do anything specific. We're not gonna like, like you just turn on the button. Like it's not, it's not strong. It's not, so, so like it's not gonna like, whoa, this is, no. It's just for small jobs, on the go, mobile jobs, at the shop. Oh snap, we forgot that. Let me just walk over here, not bring the whole vacuum in, bring the whole thing. You just walk over there, turn it on and, And you're done. And if you've watched my other recent videos, I've talked about how we're going more and more cordless, not as a primary, like we're only gonna use cordless tools, but it does help and add more flexibility to your operations when you have a cordless whatever machine. So for instance, like I said, it makes life easier when we just need to, you know, do a quick job with the vacuuming. Same thing with the polishers. Now, like plenty of times we have customers come to the shop where they need a scratch removal, a scuff removal, paint transfer, and you know maybe there's like already a car here in the shop, so we're gonna work on it outside. So if that's the case, we don't take you know we don't get a, 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 the the polisher and then get an extension cord and then go out there. No, we just grab this machine, get the pad on it, and just get straight to work. So having a polisher, a cordless polisher, just adds another flexibility to your operation. Now, should you purchase one? Should this be on your priority list of things to purchase? No, absolutely not. This is not gonna be like a man like before i get started i really need this or like man i've got a few customers i really no like no if, if, if you're on a limited budget or whatever the case may be this should go more towards the end of the list of what you need to purchase again we've gone through how many customers how many years and we're just not quite we're just not purchasing it now there's multiple brands that's just the one that we purchased there's i'm sure plenty others if you have a battery if you have batteries for another brand i'm more than certain they have that same like they have a, a, a cordless vacuum, but just for that brand. Because obviously if you have like a, I don't know, I don't know, whatever, like Makita, right? And, and then you're like, oh, let me get the DeWalt, but then you don't have any DeWalt batteries, so now you gotta purchase DeWalt batteries when you could have just used the same Makita batteries that you had. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. Anyways, you know what I'm trying to say. Buy the same brand vacuum for the batteries that you already have, that way you just use the batteries for that. Anyhow, I'll end it right here. Check the link down below for the link to that product. If you have any comments, questions, concerns about it, let me know, but it should be pretty straightforward. But if you have any, any, any further questions or, or wanna know anything about it or how we use it, let me know, but it's a pretty straightforward product. So I will see everyone on the next one.